Hey everyone, Paul ISM. Welcome to another inbox review. Today we're looking at Alpha Models 124th Aston Martin Vantage. Yes, I've had this kit in the stash for a while now. Um, I've looked at it, obviously, because I've checked off all the parts. Looks a great kit. Typical Alpha Models quality. The car itself never really done anything for me until I started watching Matt Armstrong on YouTube. Um, he bought a crash damage one, repaired it. Okay, he modified it a bit that I wouldn't have, but I kind of fell in love with the look of the car. It just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, it really does. You had in the stash, and I thought I've got to build it, and I think this is going to be my next build. So we're going to have a look through the box, see what we get in there. Uh, and then we'll have a little bit of a chat at the end about planned colours and what we're going to do to it. Right then, so Alpha Models 124th Aston Martin Vantage. Beautiful box out. The absolutely stunning rear end of that car with duck bill, duck tail, should we say. I always call them duck bill for accident. Duck tail spoilers, wonderful diffuser, and uh, just a lovely looking little car. It really is pretty. There's some side profile there, like a schematic blueprint, and a not very good colour rendered picture of the car itself. Not a fan of these at all, I'm really not. Inside, it's your typical Alpha Models boxing. I'm just going to make some room over here. So plenty of bubble wrap, plastic bags full of stuff. Um, fairly well packed to be fair, considering. In the bottom of the box, we will have our instructions, our goodie bag, and some bag of screws as well. So we'll pop all that to one side. We'll pop them there, pop those over there as well, and we'll go through the body. Uh, so I'll zoom is in a touch to begin with on the body. Now I've already gone through this and checked off all the parts, so I know everything's here. And after thinking about starting the kit, I've already been drooling over it as well. So we have the chassis floor pan, which does have a little bit of detail on it. Some exhaust detail and a rear diffuser as well. So no doubt that will be carboned as per usual. So as always, flawless resin, completely flat, absolutely perfect. It's the one thing Alpha Models does really, really well is good resin. Interior tub, very basic, obviously. We've got lots and bits and bobs to add in there. We'll carpet it, we've got the partial shelf, and this slots in. Quite positive on this one, there's a little key and lug on the back of this, just there, as you can see. It literally slots in there, fits in very, very nicely, as you can see. Obviously, pay attention to your instructions when you're building, so you make sure you know which way everything goes. Like I say, this is one pretty little car. And as I said before, this one's never really been on my radar um, as a pretty car. I watched Matt, Ar Matt Armstrong's build of his, and I kind of fell in love with the car there. Um, just a beautiful little car. Mercedes power plant in it. That's 6.3 V12, I think it is. And just a beautiful, beautiful car. For me, it's the back end that does it with that ducktail spoiler. It just looks wonderful. And as always with this resin, it is absolutely flawless. I cannot see a single fault on that resin anywhere. It is flawlessly cast, flawlessly detailed, not a single imperfection on it. If anything, a little bit of a panel line there just needs a little bit of, is it dust? Yeah, a little bit of dust just needs removing. Nothing bad at all, though. And, yeah, wonderful. Beautiful shaped car. Beautiful resin. Really, really high quality. And this is mainly what you're paying for on the kit. I know a lot of people say they're overpriced. They're not They're not cheap, I admit. But nobody else makes this kit. And until they do, this is your only option. We've got a bit of detail on the inside of the roof of the car as well. We've got sun visors, headlining, the rear light, the front light with the interior mirror mount. Uh, and yeah, really, really clean body of a very, very beautiful looking car. So I'm just going to pop this back in here. And like I say, when you're building these, use your instructions with a pinch of salt. They're not instructions. They are a very, very, very vague assembly guide. And if you are going to build this, just follow my build and I'll run you through it how I will build it too. Now we'll go with the wheels. We'll go straight to the wheels. Because, again, I've already put a post up about these. I'm just going to grab two. They're, they're all perfectly moulded, all perfectly cast, all absolutely spot on. But I'm just going to grab two. So there's two options here. We've got two types of wheel. And I did put a post up the other day on my Facebook. 
And the majority of people chose these wheels. Now, they are staggered as well, uh, wider on the back to the front. But I think these wheels suit the car more. I'll put the picture up if I remember. Uh, I think they're a bit classier, personally, for the Aston. Uh, there's nothing wrong with these wheels, don't get me wrong, but I just think these ones look a little bit better myself. Tyres are beautiful. Again, really well done. No seam line, but again, no manufacturer's mark on the tyre, which is one thing Alpha models really, really does need to do. It adds just that little bit of detail, and it's well worth doing. And Kitbox can do it, PZ by Alpha models can do it as well. So the wheels, I think we'll be going for those ones myself. They're the ones I like. And they will be bright silver. I've already decided my colour on this one. Uh, we will have talked about that. Uh, actually, we'll talk about it at the end of the video. Um, but we've already talked about the colour, and I know what I'm going to do uh, on that anyway. So, once we get to the end of this, we'll have a little bit of chat about it. Right then, lots of parts. So we've got a front diffuser. That just clicks in the front of the bodywork. I've already test fitted that and it fits in there. Perfect. We've got a door card. Another door card. Nice bit of detail on those as well. Just hit my autofocus. There we go. I'm going to zoom out of touch so it doesn't go mad on me. Nice bit of detail on those. We've got a rear diffuser there as well. Which is going to need carbonate. It's not the trickiest. But it is going to be... Fun and games to do. Got some pore plugs to remove. We've got the seats, which are in two parts. We can't try them because the pore plugs on there. But look like nice seats, to be fair. Very nice. Not sure on interior colour yet. We'll figure that out as we get closer. Dashboard is there as well. Again, nice interior on this. Really, really pretty interior. Nice dashboard there as well. Got a couple of moulds here, which will be for making some sort of I'm going to guess it's photo etch. It usually is on these. So there's two halves there. You put a piece of photo etch in. Use the other part of the uh, casting mould or what would we call it? Um, guide, I suppose it is. To uh, mould the part in the correct shape. So, yeah. That's always a good thing to get. So, again, flawlessly cast resin there as well. Lovely looking kit. Next up, we've got the bag of brakes. Another bits and bobs there as well. Loads of malarkey, we're going to call it. That is today's word of the day, malarkey. So, we have lots of interior bits. Uh, what look like exhausts, uh, like parking brake calipers, heater control vents, all sorts of little bits there. We've got the steering, uh, sorry, the wheel hubs are there as well. And again, they're still yet to mark them where they go, which is another thing Kitbox did really well. Brake calipers, these are the front ones. Nice detail on those. Very, very nice. And the rear calipers. Again, really nice detail on those as well. Lovely. Very, very nice. Got wing mirrors. Perfectly mounted for painting. This is what I like when parts are done like this. You can leave them on the uh, pore plug. You can literally paint them up or carve them as you like. Discs are there. There will be PE discs as well, but they're a good sized disc on this too. Don't drop them. And if you do, make sure you catch them. Very nice. More ancillary parts. So it looks like more interior parts. We've got like the climate control, heat events, the sat nav screen. Looks like armrests and various trim parts there as well. Very, very nice. Like I say, the, the resin on Alpha Models kits is just, it's just flawlessly cast. And it is partly what you're paying for with the kit. Uh, I think once you understand that, you're good. Now, there is a grill for the front. It is resin. Whether there's photo etch in there, whether it's actually a functional grill on the real car as well. Which nowadays, they don't tend to be as much. That is there. More interior components, so there's the centre console for the front, which is quite iconic on this car, I would say. Very nice, uh, looks like this on armrest. Um, and then more centre console bits there too. More trim, and what looks to be either headlights. Yeah, I'd say they were headlights as well. Very nice and But The rear lights on this car were confusing me at first, and I figured them out. Because there's no clear resin, as you're about to see in a second, when we go through the clear resin bits. 
the rear lights are actually uh, clear acetate on the window uh, strip, so they're going to be challenging to put in, which is one word for them. So they're going to be fun and games, I think, but we'll just try our best here, because at the end of the day, your best is all you can ever do. So we've got our steering column there, which um, all the controls are on one side. It's quite unusual. There we go. So they're going to get snapped off by me at some point. Interior mirror, steering wheel as well, which is broken off its fret. Fret off its poor stub. Nice steering wheel. Very, very nice steering wheel. Lovely. Very cool. And then clear parts. We've got two headlights, which are here and here. Like so. Nice clear resin parts. And then some smaller parts there, which I'm assuming for the actual headlights themselves. Like I say, no rear lights in there, which again did confuse me a little bit. We've got a bag of screws, which is for mounting the chassis to the uh, the body. So there's like self-tapping screws. Then we're onto the instructions and the PE part. So we'll open this up quickly and go through this. Come on, there we go. Right then, so we've got Aston Martin metal badges there, which are always a good touch to get in these. Very, very nice. We've got the Aston Martin Vantage name pack. Photo etch, which again, really nice. You can do with that as you wish. We then have the troublesome clear parts. And then the rear lights are here in this corner. Can you see them? The two at the bottom and the longer one. So they're going to be coloured for a start and then inserted into the back of the car. So they're going to be quite fun to do. The rest of the windows don't look too bad. Typical ALF model. It is the weak point of these kits, but once you get used to putting them in, they're not too bad. We've got some photo etch uh, speaker grills, photo etch mirrors. And add the photo etch again, super quality. We've then got the wipers, a few other parts in there. I'm not going to pretend they're actually part of the rear lights. Look. So they're the internals. I like so brilliant. You could paint the photo etch, stick that in, and then put the clear over it. So that makes life a little easier. Wonderful. We've got a smaller part for seatbelt buckles. Aston Martin backing for the badges. And switches for the thing. And something I'm hoping I don't have to use, which is those tiny little Aston Martin left to see them there. I've got to focus. I thought we'd put those on because they look a nightmare. Then we've got some very nice PE for the discs, number plates, uh, the shifter, so like interior parts, wipers. I like those plates, they're very nice. Nice uh, groove discs as well. Very, very cool. Oh, this looks like fun and games. So there is a grill. There's the photo etch grill with photo etch surrounds as well. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Oh, I look forward to that one. Made out of breast, so it's easily uh, bendable, malleable. But yeah, that's going to be a whole world of pain, that isn't it? That is going to be interesting to do. So you can either use the photo etch or the resin. It's your choice, maybe and me. I'll try and use the photo etch if we can. And these will be the parts that are bent into shape. using the um, those moulds we saw earlier. Now, I've just noticed something. This, I have stolen an Aston Martin badge out of. Hmm. So I will need to find a replacement for that. I did that for the DB11. I remember doing it now. So I'm going to have to contact Alpha Models and see if they'll send me another one, which is often quite difficult. Now, we do have decals. Now, this bright... Horrendously luminous green is for the car shown on the box, which is that monstrosity there. I'm not keen on that one at all. So we definitely will be doing that one. Ours will be a bit more conservative. So we won't be using probably 90% of the decals on there. But again, there's lots of decals on there. There's Aston Martin logos, uh, switch gear for the interior, speakers. 
There's like there's a lot of that luminous decal, isn't there? Where the hell does all that go? Wow, wheel centers and the gear being hub design decals, they'll go down absolutely perfect. That is crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy, that is. Wow. So we'll see how they go, but we're definitely gonna be using those day glow ones. No way, Pedro. No way, Jose, are we using those? Right then. Instruction. So like I say. Probably one of the most important tips I can get on these kits, when you get the kit, get all the parts out, get yourself a nice highlighter, and go through and check off everything that should be in there. So as you can see, I am missing those two Aston Martin badges there. See them? So, the actual na name, Aston Martin. I stole them for because uh, I screwed up the ones on my DB11, so I'll have to go through my other Aston Martin, see if I've got a spare one. And if not, we're either not having it on the car, or we'll have to try and contact Hobby, uh, Hobby Design slash Alpha Models and get new ones. So we'll start with here. So there we go. Look at that luminous green stripes, isn't it? Luminous green for the rear diffuser. That is vile. You know what that means, don't you? We can use that as a template for our own carbon, which is quite helpful. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So at least we can use that for that. Not a fan of that at all. But anyway, never mind. There's the Aston Martin badge where it needs to go. So we definitely need one of those. But we're a pretty looking car. It really is a cool looking car. So the single sheet of A4, they're very, very vague. There's your wheel hubs going in, your brakes going together, wheels and tyres going on. I'm screwing it all in, but it doesn't show you how to do anything at all. This is all for your decals and your badge locations and what have you here. Like I say, I've used those horrendous luminous things. You've got them there. And if not, we'll use those as templates for our carbon. So every cloud and what have you. So that's good. Uh, on to this one, which has got the interior parts. Like I say, it's a nice busy, da busy dashboard on this one. There's lots to it. So it's going to look very interesting. Like I say, we've not decided on a colour yet. But we'll get to that point at some time. Lots of P for the interior. Again, horrendous green stripes for the seats, if you want to do it. Which we're definitely not doing. Apparently we've got to scribe something. Photo etch? What is all that about? Ah, you got a photo etch um, template for scribing the door handles. Oh, okay. Okay, and then the grills on the back. Rear lights, you can see there where they go in. So they need colour in red. So can we get away with painting the PE red instead? No, we can't, can we? Because we need that as a reflector. So yeah, we've got to paint the plastic red. But quite nice interior on that. And then the exterior part here. Front grill, there's our, making our grill there. You have to go, go with the brass grill. It's going to look so much better, isn't it, than the the, uh, the resin one. Headlights going together, window wipers, door mirrors, uh, more of those horrendous green strips. Yes. Yeah, we're definitely not using those green things because they look terrible. But, you know, overall, it's your typical Alpha Models kit. It's going to go together. Quite a lot of parts in this one, to be fair. You got a spare set of wheels, which is always nice. Like I say, everything is laid out there. There's lots of photo etch in this. Lots and lots of it. And uh, it looks like it would be a half decent build. Looks like a great kit, as usual, from Alpha Models. And there we are. That's it. Typical Alpha Models quality. Absolutely superb resin. I still don't know how they get the resin so perfect, because it's just flawless all the way through. Absolutely perfect. Um, there's some quite complicated bits in there. There's a lot of photo etch. There really is a lot of photo etch in this. Um, so there are going to be some quite complement, complicated parts of the build, but overall, I think it's just going to be a typical Alpha Models kit, which is test, test, test. Don't go by the instructions because they are very, very vague build guidelines rather than instructions, um, and you won't go wrong. Now, those horrendous luminous decals will not be getting used, but I think we might use the ones for the diffuser on the back as templates for our own uh, carbon, which would be really helpful. Um, but overall, looks a great kit. Typical carbon, uh, carbon, typical quality from Alpha Models. Um, really is a really, really.
pretty looking car and a great looking kit as well. They're not cheap, I understand that. A lot of people say they're overpriced, but for the high quality components you get in the kits, I think they're worth it. And they're very bespoke subjects as well. Nobody else makes an advantage. Uh, I just wish that the number one make better instructions, which they are doing with their build guides. I understand what they're doing there. Um, and I wish they put tyre markings on the tyres. I always say it, it's a real bugbear. It's just a really simple thing to do, and I just really wish they do because it just adds a bit of detail to the kit. Um, but other than that, great looking kit of a fantastic looking car. So colour wise on this, lots of colours out for this. Loads, I'm sure, on Pro Scale. The world is my oyster. Uh, but Simon recommended a colour, which was Cumberland Grey. I think I've got it here in front of me. There it is. I'll give it a quick shake up because it's settled. Um, I'll pop a pick up on screen. It looks beautiful. Really, really nice colour. So there she is there. You can't really see her. She's separated from her colours because she's been stood around for a while. Needs a really good shake. Um, it's really dodgy, that, doesn't it? I won't do that. Let's not do that. Um, it looks a great colour, and I think it's going to suit the shape of the car really, really well. So obviously, I'll be using our own Pro Scale brand of paints, which are working out absolutely fantastic. The Super V's just been finished, as you can see. She's just there. And the uh, three-part build series that will be up on Patreon very soon. And the very quick single part video will be up on ISM um, very soon as well. Because as going forward, patrons are going to get the in-depth three-part video builds. And ISM for the freebies, which is what they are, uh, is going to get the condensed build in one short 20-minute video. That way, still get a free video of the build. If you want to see more of it, you can go over and become a patron and get full access to everything behind the scenes as well. And that's it. Excellent. I'm looking forward to starting this one. It's early morning. You can see it's just 10 o'clock. And I've got to go live in a second as well. But once I get it reviewed, so I could start it basically this morning. So a very quick review. And uh, yeah, looks to be a great kit. As I said, if you want to support me, help support the videos and the channel, keep the content going and get access to early access videos, full length video builds, exclusive content, uh, add to an exclusive Facebook group and exclusive Facebook messenger chat. Keep the videos going, and um, yeah, you can join my Patreon. It's in the link down below. You can select the applicable tier you wish to join. There's all different levels of coverage. Um, and yeah, enjoy early access and full access to all the videos and builds down below. It's also a PayPal me and a buy me coffee link. There's an email address to get in touch with me if you want to. If anyone wants to discuss anything, you can comment down below and I'll talk to you or drop me an email. I can talk to you in private there, should you wish. Links to everything else down below from my ISM Facebook page and forum. ProScale Paint, UMP Retail, all the live at Bench and the off air hangout groups are down there. There's links to my scale mates, there's links to my Etsy selling shop, there's links to all the products I use in my videos. There is everything in that description down there. You name it, it's all down there. And of course, if you're watching and you're new to us, make sure you sub to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, let me know what you think of the review down below in the kit, uh, whether you're on Patreon or on ISM. I appreciate the feedback all around. And uh, make sure you click that bell notification to get notified of all the latest videos. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that review. I'll catch you all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.